Good day, and welcome to episode 16 of the 100 Spin Test, where I take roulette strategies and deliberately play them poorly. There are too many distractions which prevent people from playing roulette perfectly. So the goal of this channel is to honestly see if certain flat betting strategies can deal with real world and human imperfection. I'm not feeling confident with this one, so I'm gonna stick to fake money. Today's test strategy is from the March 24th, 2024, the Roulette Strategy Pro YouTube channel. With a name like $19,890 to $21,310 win, quote money with wings, unquote, 99.01% good roulette strategy, my first impression is that it's one of those crap strategies that cover all 37 numbers and is loaded with partial losses so you win your way to poverty. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not risking real money, so I can't resist running 100 spins this session with no progressions or bet adjustments. Thanks to the house edge which varies between 1.35 to 7.69%, a large number of consecutive unmodified bets can drain a bankroll. With any luck, we can uncover and exploit an exception. Well, maybe not today. I promise that I'll test a strategy from a decent YouTuber in the next video. Since I play online, I'll stick to the European game because it dominates with online casinos. There are 34 winning numbers out of a possible 37, giving you a 92% likelihood of winning on each spin. However, there are 13 partial losses, bringing your win possibility down to 57% per spin. So, from the name 99.01% good roulette strategy, 99.01% is definitely BS, and the good is likely HS where the H stands for horse. To simplify things for analysis and scaling, I've reduced the unit size to $1, euro, or pound, from the creator's $10 because putting down $380 per spin on this is Harry and Lloyd level dumb. I'm going to change up my style and reduce the dead air by starting the spins now. I'll speed things up after. If you don't want to hear me describe the bet in boring detail, skip ahead 90 seconds. The bet is 38 units, starting with 5 units on red, 10 units each on the first and third columns, 6 units each on the first and second dozen, and 1 unit on zero. For variety, the creator changes the bet throughout the video but I can't be asked to change mine. It's still almost as pants as the bet in video 14 and no adjustment is going to fix it. You will win 20 units if the ball lands on 1, 3, 7, 9, 11. 16, 18, 19, or 21. The wins drop to 10 units if the ball hits 4, 6, 10, 13, 15, 22, or 24. A disappointing 2 unit win happens if the ball lands on 25, 27, 30, 34, or 36. You lose 2 if you get a green 0. You lose 8 if the ball hits 28, 31, or 33 and you lose 10 if you get a 5, 14, or 23. The losing doesn't stop here. Oh no. You'll be down 20 if the ball lands on 2, 8, 11, 17, or 20, and, lose 28 if the ball lands on 32. Say goodbye to all 38 units if the ball finds 26, 29, 32 or 35. Wow. We're already down 38 units. Keep watching to see how low we'll go.
This strategy as played was a loser. Mind you, it was completely expected. These stupid bets are all these wankers have. Don't play any bet where the author claims to have impossible winning odds. In gambling, there is always risk and there is no way that the casinos will ever give the player the advantage. The money for the gaudy opulence has to come from somewhere and if you play this bet, it will be you. There were 25, 20 unit wins, 19, 10 unit wins, 16, 2 unit wins, 1, 2 unit loss, 7, 8 unit losses, 9, 10 unit losses, 13, 20 unit losses and 10, 38 unit wax. We should expect 24, 20 unit wins, 19, 10 unit wins, 13 or 14, 2 unit wins, 3, 2 unit losses, 8, 8 unit losses, 8, 10 unit losses, 13 or 14, 20 unit losses, 3, 28 unit losses, and 8, 38 unit wax leading to a loss of 103 units due to the house edge. It overperformed, but it was still crap. We reached a high water mark of positive 66 units and a low of negative 114 before settling at minus 66 at the end of the spins. I ran a few statistical tests on the results. I consider a number that pays a 1 or more units to be a win and numbers that pay 0 or less to be a loss. The chi-square test indicated that these results were likely random. The average number of spins before we got a hit was 1.7 with a standard deviation of 0.9. That means that 65% of wins should have occurred between 1 and 3 spins and 95% between 1 and 4. The maximum number of consecutive wins was 5 and maximum number of consecutive losses was 3. The test beat the house edge, but was not profitable. Keep in mind that casinos are not there to make you rich. So test strategies on a simulator and read the critiques of any strategy that you are planning to use. Also, all roulette players should remember that no system works all the time and some don't work at all. Adjust your risk level accordingly. Good luck until the next time.